And don't go, don't, don't use what I'm about to tell you for bad. If you do, I'm going to put voodoo on you. This is just for protection. Especially in 2022. By the way, Happy New Year, 2023. Especially in our modern day and age, it's almost impossible to hack somebody using technical abilities. Unless you elite. More elite than Mr. Foundation over here. A lot of times it relies on social engineering because the human will always be vulnerable. The human being is forever the most vulnerable part of the system. Fortunately or unfortunately, but it is what it is. If you're the event manager, your job is to check these emails. How the hell are you supposed to avoid a email about an event? You know what I mean? Like it's just it's hard to avoid. So I can't blame the bank. Right? Quit victim blaming. Stop doing that. It's important to note how the perpetrators here were not average. All right? Don't let that foundation spelling mistake uh, fool you because even though they, they couldn't spell fan, foundation right, they put in a lot of work into this and a lot of thought, you know? This was very thought out. This wasn't a opportunistic uh, stumbled upon a, a, a come up. Nah, son. This was thought out. A lot of planning went into this and very careful planning as well on the part of the hackers. I hope next time they plan to, uh, you know, up the spelling game a little bit, okay? All right. So check this out. When it comes to timing, all right, time is money. Yes, it is. Take this in. Pause. All right. I ain't talking about pause the video, all right? If you know, you know. The heist occurred over the weekend, right? And the bank in the Philippines would not receive any of the stop payment orders on Monday. Hmm? Why not? I told you earlier, you don't pay attention. I should come out the screen and... And, and, and give you a couple of smacks to get your head right. Didn't I tell you it was Chinese New Year? So Monday is off. Monday is not a working day. These stop payment orders didn't make it. The bank is closed on Monday. Chinese New Year. They partying with the dragon, all right? Might as well fly Jackie Chan, give him a milli. Let them uh, teach you uh, uh, some spelling. Uh, some Everybody love Kung Fu fighting. <clears throat> anyway, these four payments, fortunately for the hackers, unfortunately for the Bangladeshi bank, they made it into the hands of the hackers leaving them $81 million richer. That's 81, comma, three zeros, comma, three zeros. Two of the men who set up those four bank accounts would be identified. Yes, they found out who it was, if that was who it was, because again, they were playing with fake documents, fake identities. So it really could be anybody, we don't know. But when the police went to go get him, guess what? He had already fled the country to Macau. Police get there, pew, 
Crickets. Nobody to get. Macau is an important, I repeat, Macau is an important part to the story because it is the country that North Korea uses to connect with the rest of the world financially. Yeah? See, North Korea is sanctioned. All right? Can't no, <laughs> ain't nobody finna open up a bank account for Kim Jong-un. Hmm? Imagine Kim walking in a chase. Open that account right now. Right now. I come. I drop my account. Hmm? Didn't you, didn't you uh, uh, feed your uh, uncle to the dogs? I don't care. I want that account open right now. I call, I call the police on you. I am the dictator, the supreme leader. Hello. <laughs> I, I hope nobody get offended. You know, it's jokes. Now, North Korea, why do I bring that up? Why is North Korea special, AK? So check this out. When they went to go clean up after the deed was done, you know, and investigate, all right, in, in cyber form, they went to go look at these malwares. Upon examining and looking at these malwares at the crime scene, okay, it was determined that a North Korean IP address had access servers used in these attacks. Also, you know how to code, uh, you know, anybody who knows how to code here, you know that sometimes within a code, you know, you click the hash, you know, and that part is just a description for you as a coder or the next coder, which is only there to explain or, or basically make notes. So you, it's, it's kind of like a sticky note within the code, which is just a uh, text. It's not code. It is not uh, a if statement or whatever, you know. This is there to notes for the developers. Anyway, that they found it to be uh, these notes within the code were North Korean. Also, North Korea, their citizens are banned from accessing internet. The only people who are allowed to access uh, internet is the government and selected people by the government. There's no more than a few <laughs> thousand, uh, like 2,000 IP addresses, and if not less, in all of the, the, the North and uh, Korea. So it's for sure, right? They should have used the VPN or something, right? They were trying to transfer a billy. Uh, I don't recommend crime or support it, but I just want to slap him for for the like brother. <laughs> How are you so sophisticated yet so stupid at the same time and sloppy? Like bruh, brother, there is some sixteen year old kids on Telegram who, if you put them to do this job. Like, are you serious, bro? North Korean? You couldn't even use a proxy? Sox 5? Shalika Foundation? <sighs> nah, that giving me a headache. Anyway. So, they found the North Korean IP address that accessed the servers, the uh, command and control servers used in the hack or attack. Now dubbed or called or named Lazarus, this group was linked or determined to be behind this attack. 
Who's Lazarus? What are you talking about? Is this new to you? If you are familiar with Lazarus, then you realize that <laughs> this rabbit hole is already deep, deeper than, uh, I can't say her name. They're going to say bullying, harassment. But it is very deep. And, and, and we are already very deep. The people who just heard about this for the first time, they're like, damn, this is deep. Uh, you think so? We just getting started. Because let me tell you about Lazarus. This rabbit hole is going to go really, really deeper. Way deeper. Yeah. Right? You might want to grab a parachute. All right? Maybe a rubber. Uh, a latex rubber, specifically. Because... Uh, it is so deep, I can't tell if I'm inside. What's her name? Let's get serious. Further investigation confirmed that the hacks on banks, in this case, and in other parts of the world, were also funneling money back to Macau. And then, of course, to the uh, peoples over in uh, North Korea. Though it is thought that North Korea could be used as a scapegoat by the hackers to divert attention away from the true culprits, even though that is true and possible, However, it is widely agreed that North Korea is behind this, bro. Because Lazarus is not a bunch of teenagers who um, are goaded with the computers. Nah, no, son. Lazarus got history. And they go back years. And this ain't the first time they did this type of attack. All right. It, this story is what, 2016? This is an old story, but since then, they've been active, my brother. Like, um, I have to cover it later, but they hacked the NFT companies, crypto exchanges worldwide, uh, you name it. All right. And, 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 and they scammed. Uh, People off of LinkedIn using uh, fake job applications. They go hard, okay? North Korea, it is safe to say it is behind it, bro. Because ain't nobody sending money to Macau, all right? Most hackers, they come up, they go to Miami, not Macau. Now let's talk a little bit about Lazarus. They've been hacking. They've been doing heists like this way before, all around the globe. South Korean government has been one of their victims. Who do you know want to hack the South Korean government? Who? Who has a motive? This group had many names. They went by Guardians of Peace and the FBI, which, um, by the way, they did make the most wanted. All right. The FBI named them Apartment uh, 2421. <laughs> I'm just going to pretend that some of y'all are probably scratching your head talking about, hmm? Why would a country hack a, 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 why would a country rob a bank? The same reason gas prices are through the roof is those sanctions, my friend. Russia is sanctioned right now. They're banned from doing business. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a, Twisting the arm, you know what I mean? 
It is what it is, but um, North Korea been sanctioned. They don't really have friends in this world except for China. All right. That's the only person who, and I don't even think they like them like that. They just tolerate them, son. Because they both, I guess, same ideas or whatever. I don't know why. But King Jong Un can't get no money, at least on the table. You know what I mean? When you're a government, you get to do crime and get away with it. No, I don't mean I don't mean crime like uh, I can, bruh. They are robbing banks. They are robbing. What bank robber do you know gets to shake hands and go to dinner with Donald Trump? Hmm. Bro, they sell meth. The North Korean government produces some of the highest quality meth in the world. They counterfeit bills. They produced what the Secret Service calls like the super bill. Don't quote me on it, but it is the, because it's a whole country, <laughs> you know, like it's not two guys in a, in a, in a garage somewhere being low-key, trying to move a couple of bills on a dark web or whatever. This is a whole uh, government with its resources and capabilities. So you're telling me he going to sell meth. He going to do whatever, but he, it's a government. Who going to arrest him? Hmm? Anyway, that's why, brother, because... They're not allowed to do business due to sanctions. All right, I've done a video on sanctions. You can click here. But, yeah, so due to sanctions, they can't conduct business, sell oil, uh, uh, cotton. They can't do that. But they got to get money somehow, right? So they're going to play in the black market. Now, it's always it's always gonna be a lot of money in math and 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 and, 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 and counterfeit bills, but maybe Kim Jong Un happened to hear some of my music and get inspired. Not that I condone it, but maybe he discovered scam rap and he said, "You know what? All you really need is a computer. All right, why you gotta move math and holler at Pa Larue?" By the way, documentary coming soon. If it's out, click here. If not, click subscribe and hit the bell. We're going to dive into that story in detail. So, hmm? All right. So why does he have to... It's a lot of physical work, you know? Computer crime. <laughs> Hacking, scamming is cheaper in a sense. And, you know, not to be, not racist, it's just a good thing. Asians, they're known to be smart, you know, mathematics. So what they do is they train hackers. The best people in schools at mathematics, they send them over to China. They go to China, they learn, uh, uh, they put them through college and whatnot. You know, they get to have fun too, you know. You you're legally allowed to leave North Korea and FBs and get money. But most of that money you get is not for you to throw in the club, for example, or or, or flip or something. That money gotta go back to uh, uh the supreme fat leader over in uh uh Democratic Republic of North Korea. Stupid name, because there's nothing democratic about it. All right. So you will see here, I posted, um, or I put up on the screen, a couple people wanted by the FBI. You can go to fbi.gov slash wanted slash cyber slash and... Uh, uh, find it yourself, all right? So first on the list, we got Park Dean 
Hayok. Hala. That boy. I ain't gonna lie. No H O M O, but the boy is handsome, right? He looked like he could be an actor in Squid Games. <laughs> All right, so he's wanted by the FBI. Charges are conspiracy to commit wire fraud and bank fraud. Conspiracy to commit computer-related fraud, computer intrusion. FBI, I never been a snitch. I'm not 6'9", but you should add a new charge. It's called uh, conspiracy to not uh, learn grammar. Because foundation? Holy. That's a horrible. So, you know, obviously they're not going to catch him because he's in the Korea. North Korea. Um, he had his homies with him. It was the boy Kim Il. All right, Kim Il, because he's sick with the computers. Same charges. And then we got the last one, Jong Chang Yok. Damn, they brothers. Who? I hate going on the Fed site. I feel weird. But um, North Korea responded to uh, 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 the FBI making uh, you know their their top hacker here wanted, and you know what they said? <laughs> they said this guy here doesn't exist. Hmm. Yeah, he said, you Americans, you made it up. This is um, AI generated some, or deep fake or something. This guy don't exist. So, I mean, you, do you believe him? Doesn't matter if you do. You want to go to North Korea and see if they're lying? Yeah, Kim Jong-un be trying to play it stupid. You see, Kim Jong-un sends these boys to do the work for him. But when the heat comes back, he likes to distance himself and play stupid like, hackers? Uh, what hackers? Nah, me no hack you. Me no have idea. Me no know how to hack. Me only build North Korea, misa. And sell the meth, maybe. <laughs> he be playing is so stupid because bruh South Korea is loved by the whole world and it's not like they oppress their people okay this ain't China why would anyone in the world like who else got the motive to hack South Korea specifically South Korean government Kim Jong Un. Nah, me no hack South Korea. Me love South Korea. Okay, devil's advocate. Anybody could have hacked South Korean government. Sure. Okay. Now, who else would hack Sony? Yes, Sony, like the ones who made your PlayStation. Sony, the one and only. And. What did they demand when they hacked Sony? Why did they hack Sony? Are they trying to get money? Nah, son. The reason is the key here, my friend. Pay attention. Boom. Remember when Seth Rogen and James Franco all right, dropped the movie all right, under Sony, the interview? Do you remember that? Hmm? It disappeared quickly for a reason, my friend. Because, uh, check this out. Uh, the movie, the interview, if you don't know, look it up. It portrayed, uh, fictional of course, movie, just a movie. Comedy movie, it portrayed 
a assassination attempt on the fictional North Korean leader. Uh, comedy or not, all right? That boy Kim, <laughs> that boy Kimmy said, oh no, you cannot get away with these. I must retaliate. And he said, the hitters, or should I say, the hackers. The hackers came in under the name Guardians of Peace, uh, 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 threatening that if they drop this movie, they're going to do this and do that. Again, all right, who in the world would hack Sony talking about? Like, come on, bro, who else would do this? Why would a hacker, you know, risk FBI case hacking Sony so publicly, making threats? You know, so he, why would somebody risk a, 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 a couple cases? Number one, conspiracy, fraud, computer intrusion, and threats. Not only that, acting on them threats, because they did. But see, when they turn around and they tell Kim, Yo, Kim, North Korea, you hacking the world, you doing this, you doing fraud. Kim says, oh no, me no have idea. The FBI was familiar with the, with the, with Lazarus. All right, let's call him that. The Bangladeshis maybe were surprised to find out that uh, North Korea uh, would hack them. Or actually, they would hack their bank and rob them. All right? Like a thief in the night. All right? I repeat trouble. What the song say? <laughs> like a thief in the night. I want everything but some meow. Oh, the... Now, Kimmy has to play a stupid even if he want to claim... Because, hey, listen, if that was me, son, you know, how, how, you know how these people that got arrested for unemployment, they kept bragging about it? Hey, listen, I'd want to brag at least a little bit because that's some genius. Huh? But Kimmy has to say that because this is an act of war, bro. You are robbing countries. Like, uh, you know, it ain't a gunpoint, but... You know, gunpoint might get you a couple hundred. That's a whole Billy. Not Billy Otto. This is Jay Z Illuminati numbers right here, son. <laughs> oh, the... Now, of course, most of that money, you know, North Korea's people are in poverty, mass starvation. A lot of them has to have to eat worse. I don't want to get into it. If you have the ability to handle such details, look it up. But that 81 milli is going to the supreme leader. All right. That's how democratic the democratic part of uh, uh, republic is. I don't know what's democratic about it, but. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea, a.k.a. North Korea. Again, the People's Republic, really? Democratic? <laughs> what is democratic about it? How the hell you hit a lick? Let me talk to your street a little bit. How the hell you hit a lick and you take it all to the big boss when you did all the work? Huh? And I don't support crime, but y'all hit a lick, bruh. And y'all didn't even get the ball out. All right? I hope the Supreme Leader got some Supreme uh, South Korean escorts for you. Because if he took all the money, bruh, next time you in China, all right. Anyway, 
when they point the blame and confront uh, the supreme leader of uh, the not so democratic uh, 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 certain people's republic of Korea, <laughs> when they confront the supreme leader, the only thing supreme about him is, uh, but when they confront the big boy, the fat man, you know, the uh, 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 the boss of this, uh, when they confront the fat mother effer, he says, no, I had nothing to do with it. He didn't only say that, oh, no, I had nothing to do with it. Man, he got so defensive, he said, this guy doesn't exist. But hey. What do you what do you expect? You know? The Supreme Leader ain't coming up off of eighty one million. He's not gonna tell you, yeah, I robbed Bangladesh. That's an act of war. If he admit, like what do you expect, USA? Like you want him to be like, Yeah, I did it. What you gonna do about it? <laughs> King Jong Um said, I never seen this man before. He doesn't exist. Are you willing to go confirm that, FBI? All right, keep putting them posters up. How about one of y'all go <laughs> and confirm <laughs> that um, Park Jong Kwang Jing exists for real? Is he for real or did you AI generate this man? I ain't gonna lie, I thought he was off a of squid game. My little sister got a thing for Asian boys. Like she like uh, K-pop artists. I ain't gonna lie. If I didn't know what I know, I would have thought he's a K-pop artist. <laughs> you know what I mean? Pause on what I'm about to say. All right, not in a weird way, but in a in a in an objective way. This dude is handsome. You know, like, he looks like, if I didn't know any better, and you just passed me this picture, I would have thought he's one of the actors on Squid Games. You feel me? But instead, he's on, on a Most Wanted for uh, uh, wire fraud, computer fraud, bank fraud, intrusion, all this, huh? Now you can see... <clears throat> how something as simple as a phishing attack can lead to uh, uh, millions, oh no, correct it, billions uh, being stolen. That's the day and age we live in. Though Lazarus wouldn't make away with the whole bitly, all right? It is what it is. Another hacking group would successfully steal this though. They actually stole the sum, the whole thing, wiped it down and all. Very similar technique as well. All right, if you wanna learn about carbon hack, if it's out, click here. If not, smash that subscribe button. Okay. I see y'all throwing money in the strip club. How about you throw some over here, bro? All right, so I can bring you more stuff. And, you know, it takes a lot of time to do these. I had somebody hating on me. Then he went to try to do what I do. Now he appreciates my work. Yeah, you thought it's easy? You try it. <sighs> Enough talking. I love you guys. I'm going to drop. And, uh, yeah, love you. All right. I'll see you in the next one. And turn the bell on. I ain't talking Bella Hadid now. <laughs> you are now watching AK Debris on YouTube. Welcome back to the house of knowledge, wisdom, evolution, and revolution. Make sure to click the like button, smash the subscribe button, and leave a comment for the algorithm. Get comfortable, grab a bottle of water, 
and back to you, AK. This is Hannah, AK Debris, London.